Hi, I'm Andy from Paleo to Pioneer, and this is Small Batch Science. Today, we're going to talk about a real interesting uh, prehistoric fish hook from Florida. They're barbed radius hooks made from uh, an identifiable deer bone, and we'll get into some discussion of of their importance archaeologically and some things we've learned by experimentally making some and using some. Bone fish hooks are known around the world, various places, as many as eight, maybe even 10,000 years ago. Here in Florida, probably around 5,000 years ago are the earliest that we know of. There, there could be earlier, we just don't know about them. The ones you're looking at here, made from the near or proximal end of a deer radius, one of the lower leg bone, front leg bones, are probably on the order of three, maybe 4,000 years old. And they're sort of double unique, both because you can identify which bone they came from. They're not just a splinter of bone worked into a hook but also because they're barbed. Very much uh, really good clear evidence of hook and line fishing, but for subsistence, which is a very different thing than sport fishing today. One important thing that we can do as archaeologists to understand some of the things we find is to experiment. Basically take and make replicas, uh, try and make them normally in an authentic fashion, uh, use them, and break them. Well, on these guys, I admit I cheated and used the Dremel because they're really complicated and I needed to make a bunch of them for uh, an experiment we were trying to do real quick and I just didn't have the time. N normally, I use stone tools and do, you know, use flakes to cut things and grind and smooth things myself by hand. Um, and we'll normally do that in some of the other videos, but on this one, I got to fess up, I didn't. There's some interesting things that we don't understand about them still and one of, that, one of the things that I'm curious about is that on the unused bone you can see how big there's a there there's a articular surface here and, and then the, the groove that's in there is it typically been expanded in all of the archaeological ones you can see it at the bottom of the, the pictures and we don't know why why go to the trouble of smoothing the bone all the way around it except making the little notch even bigger and one thought I've had is that perhaps they're tiny they're like a leather strap or in this example just um, hung some um, uh, bunny fluff off the bottom of it and the idea being just make it that much more attractive of a, of a lure if you're basically using it like a jig or something. One of the really interesting things about prehistoric fishing technology when you use the bones is that green bones or greasy bone um, gives off oil and is essentially baited already. You don't have to put anything on it. It's already attractive to fish and if you drop it in water where there's a bunch of fish around you'll see them come up to it right away and start pecking at it. And so I admit I've hooked about a five pound bass on one of these, but I've not landed it. I was overly excited and I, let's just say we're still working on it. That's a work in progress. But there's a lot to learn here and um, they're pretty fun. And that's part of the reason for doing these things is that science doesn't have to be complicated or overly elaborate. It can be fun. Thanks for watching and please tune in for more episodes of Small Batch Science from Paleo to Pioneer.